As soon as the music started, I got the urge to scream really loud over it, and I had to fight it. You had to fight your intrusive thoughts with everything you have. I did. Hi. Hi, Hi guys. I don't even know what episode this is, but Um, I can tell you in one second. Welcome to Hello Dysfunction. Welcome. It's 221. It's whatever you want it to be. Are you sure? Yeah. But I think it was more than that. Uh Uh-uh. It's 221. We both have headaches. We're both bleeding. We're gonna we're gonna make this episode all about our reproductive cycle. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how this happened. Um, I haven't had a period in months, and um, you've I got had two one, this month. I was gonna say you've had quite a bit um, yeah. lately. I saw you for five fucking minutes yesterday, and I go home, and it starts, and I'm like, oh, that's because of her shit, and then. <laughs> bunny tells me today her started and so it's a domino effect like peas is next oh yeah naya was before me P- don't say peas is it's next. just a house full of fucking uncomfortable <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> bitches heifers in this fucking house right now no i've been miserable i've been my- i have a headache i get really bad headaches and i forgot what this feels like because i thought it was done it explains why you know, the week before is really bad with like PMS symptoms, mm-hmm. like your emotions and mm-hmm. I've been extra my nausea. Itchy. It explains why I really wanted to off myself the week before. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, that's why it's worse than usual. <laughs> It's not a good time. Yeah, I know it does make sense because I've been so snappy and bitchy lately, but I was just chalking it up to not being on meds and like maybe the weather. Your body's like, I'm doubling down. Guess what? Yeah, my my body's like, remember what this is like? So before I came here, I I ran in um, the store. I almost said what store. I ran in the store real quick to grab some stuff, some feminine hygiene products (laughs) and some pretzel chips. And you'll be happy. Um, and I stole something and I was like, I you'll be even- happy. I stole something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't even hesitate. Cause I was like, you know what? Um, I'm just going for it. Cause I went to, I, I got athletes foot cream and it's fucking, it was like $26. And I was like, we're oh, not, it's hell of expensive. since when, like, we're not doing that. So last night in between some of my little toes it was like itchy and i was like we're not fucking doing that so um i had panic yeah well i mean it might be the onset of something um athletic (laughs) because you're so athletic all those sports you've been playing no but i stay in sneakers and stuff so i was like but i don't have like sweaty feet let's not make it gross but i was like let me see what the fuck is going on so i grabbed that and i was like nah we're not we're not fucking paying 26 dollars for this you know if you had yeast infection cream you can use that for athletes feet i don't have that on hand because oh. um when i do have a yeast infection i just get the one day egg <laughs> the you know ovule I, I get that egg that that one day treatment <laughs> and so you know i don't be having nothing left gotcha. around otherwise yeah that would have been but cool. future but for future you, you want to know what i did and i scared myself is i put vicks on it on the ovule nope oh my god i got so scared i was like why are you doing this it's really time for meds like you're fucking tripping bitch i I put um vicks on my itchy foot because i was like what if um like i think i I saw on tiktok or something (laughs) so carolyn's doctor because she has diabetes and her Mm -hmm. toenails have constant fungus Mm -hmm. um which makes them grow like thick and hard yeah the the treatment for that is Vicks Vapo Rub on the toenail. So, so essentially, it could possibly I'm not far work. Off, but no. it had my foot on fire last night, oh. to where I had to go wash it off. I used to love putting Vicks on my feet with socks as a kid. Well, on the bottoms, yeah. But this was like on itchy, sensitive skin in between. That you had probably scratched toes. already. Yeah. So Ooh. my foot was on fucking fire. I had to get out the bed and like go wash my foot. And I was like, yeah, we're not doing that. I'm just gonna go get some medicine the next day. So I'm gonna use it when we're done and hopefully that'll just get rid of whatever yeah whatever's going whatever's on. brewing over there yeah what's that about stop it the universe is like bam 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 um you want to hear about some some other burning i i ordered this um <laughs> inter- 
great I've, segue i've been only fans and so i've been taking a lot of like butthole pictures and intimate photos and whatnot i have a selfie stick so i'm getting better angles and i'm like all of a sudden i don't know if it's because i have like a bigger ass right now but i have like darkness happening in my nether region that i never had before are you listening to me i am listening um intimate darkness and so i'm like i need a bleaching cream where on your in between my legs like bikini area got it so um it's like way more pigmented than it's been so i was like i need to get something so i watched like all these i did all this research in the middle of the night one night on tiktok and shit and i found one that had really good reviews it's like 40 bucks but whatever if i if it doesn't work i could return it so i got it and it's a roll-on and it says like it's good for razor bumps and shit like that put it on like after you shave or whatever Mm -hmm. it helps with ingrown hairs and stuff but it also bleaches the skin right so the other day i shaved and i used it and like part of it got on like my vagina parts and my shit was on fucking fire i was just gonna say was it fucking peeling i was like peeling no like I, burning your skin off it was fire i started like jumping up and down and fanning it fanning it fanning it and you then, ran and through the living room like this <laughs> i wanted to i wasn't home alone i want could you imagine they'd call the cops oh my god but um no i fucking um but l- let's see if it works i hope yeah i hope it works i, I posted about it on twitter because i was like holy shit i just like lit my shit on fire my butthole or something on fire but um a lot of people want uh, you know to know if it works so that they could buy it too if it does <laughs> that's been going on um mm. what else will ripped his leg off we talked about that already fell in the bushes he's not great with crutches yeah he just texted us in a group text and said that he almost Shit had an <laughs> accident because he when he's using them he can't clutch like he normally would clinch well you know we're not a coordinated bunch as it is we're just not um yeah and is he feeling any better no so after the mri he indeed did tear his oh calf i didn't muscle. know he did an mri he did an mri oh. with, and kaiser does them late at night his appointment was at like 9 30 at night yeah i said you're getting the rape mri <laughs> why is the mri complete with a butt finger working both hours <laughs> yeah <laughs> what yeah right what kind of schedule is that i don't know but he went last saturday my mom went with him and um it turns out he ripped his calf muscle from the bone yep <gasps> ew and that's how he described it so it's not his um achilles, achilles like we thought no. though but that's still mm-hmm. like what do you do in that case wrap it and just yep. let it um reattach hope for the best <gasps> does it reattach y- yeah so he they uh-huh. said he's not gonna need surgery he's okay. just gonna have to keep it wrapped stay off it as much as possible ew, um he actually had painful. to take time off you know he's taken disability off work like he really fucked it up oh man yeah how he was on a ladder yep he was on a ladder stretching um he was fixing the camera above their garage he went to step down off the bottom step Uh uh-huh which is like this much and missed and stepped wrong and he heard a pop and he just fell oh that's some getting old shit yeah god damn to cause a serious injury like that you were already at the bottom step yeah that's terrible that's pretty horrible well um i hope he's still at the shows he can sit in a chair yep we can get him a wheelchair (laughs) um yep he should he should still him and carolyn are gonna race for intermission they're gonna race um yeah Great. carolyn is coming a few people have asked me she's coming she will be there in a mini skirt both, probably both days she's gonna have an extra pair of panties in her purse mm-hmm. she already told us yep so we're gonna decorate her walker mm-hmm. with balloons and cans. <laughs> and cans just married cans on the back Hell of she's gonna be ready um yeah oh i'm so mad at myself i'm famous for doing shit like this yeah i'm like what else is new um basically my dad's birthday was the other day 
did you call him i texted him i texted him i told him happy birthday that was like i think the first time in my life i've ever been able to tell him like when it was happening like usually i'm like when's your birthday oh your birthday passed oh happy birthday whatever yeah i've never in my life known his birthday which is very weird because he's always been around so you know there was this big gap we didn't talk in adulthood but right. like growing up it's so weird i never knew his did he birthday. celebrate his birthday i guess not not with me yeah <laughs> He probably did with somebody, but <laughs> <The Avon lady. laughs> not with me. Somebody's mom. Right. Um, right. But yeah, no, I text him and um, he replied um, like a very loving response. Oh, but like, I love that. It just, it, they sound more and more like he's out there, like he's fried, like more and more. And I'm sure he's sober because my, my auntie would know if he wasn't. Right. Um, like that's the whole point of him being there. So mental that illness takes a toll. Yeah, he just it sounds more and more out of it. The shit that he texts me, but whatever. I got to tell him happy birthday on his birthday, so that was nice. Yeah, um, and hopefully we'll get a visit soon. Um, what else? I went and got my nails done the other day, and um, I'm usually so good about this. Like I can't remember a time that this has ever happened to me. But I thought I had the hairiest fucking legs at the nail shop. <laughs> like I went in, and like the hair on my legs isn't thick, but it is very dark. So when it like starts to grow back, you know, I used to have that used to be one of my OCD things. Yeah, so I, I would, remember. I would have to shave every fucking day. Like I would not even let any spike whatsoever come. Right. So. Um, so yeah, it wasn't that bad. It was bad for me, but thank God I looked over and there was this cute ass girl sitting next to me and she had the hairiest fucking legs ever. And You're I was like, like twins. I was like, Oh, she makes me feel way better. Like she, I'm sure <laughs> they've seen like, well, yeah, cause know. they say don't shave before you nope. go. And I've, I've had that problem where my legs break out after yep. from, from getting the shit, like the massage oil and all that kind the of sea stuff. salt scrub and shit. Yeah. It will fuck your it skin up if you shave. Yeah. It's hella irritating so i try to i usually shave like the day before not the night before but like earlier in the day and yeah i just didn't for like a couple days and i was very embarrassed but the girl next to me oh i won (laughs) hey i've seen some feet in the nail shop before to where i'm like i'm happy they're there if if they're shady like i'm happy i'm like whatever took this long jail or whatever I'm, i'm happy you're here now to where i I seen um, somebody one time who had, you know how as you get older, if your feet are really dry, you'll get cracks. In the back? And her the crack was like, no shit, like a half inch deep. Yeah, like, it looks like cement. Heel. It looks like cracked cement yeah, sometimes. It looked like it hurt. I felt like, bad. I think you'd be walking outside with no shoes forever. Like, how does that get like that? Yeah, I don't know. Like some tough ass elephant feet. Maybe no lotion and shit. And a lot, of, like you said, a lot of walking outside. Yeah, that's what I think would cause it. Because that shit be looking rough. Like you could walk on fire probably and not yeah. feel it. Yeah. After a while. Whoa. After. <laughs> After a while, it's probably super calloused, and you probably fucking can't. Yeah. You know? That's when they bring out them cheese graters. I hate when they put them on I my feet. Those are so unsafe. And, and they use them on me sometimes, and not only do I be dying laughing, because I, I'm hella so ticklish, ticklish, and I can't fucking sit still, Same. but I don't need that, so I'd be hella scared. Like, um, you're going to cut me bad if you push too hard. Yeah. I hate when they use those on me. Apparently, that's not the most sanitary tool either. They say that, like, really good shops don't fuck with those. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, while I do go to a good shop, it it is kind of ghetto. So A little bit. I got offended because they be offering some people mimosas now, I noticed. Really? Y'all ain't never in y'all life offered me one. Me either. Why is that? Why I don't get one. Maybe it comes with, like, the super, like, top Package. of the line fucking pedicure, which I don't never get. I get the middle one. So that's still like fifty bucks, fifty five dollars. Yeah, you could throw me a mimosa. <laughs> it's probably some fucking Andre and Sunny D back there anyway. Throw, you could throw me something right, together. Right, right. I'm gonna ask them next time I go. Where's my mimosa? How come y'all ain't never asked me? Hmm. Shit. I'm fucking whooped. I feel like I've been working. 
it's a very intense week so like if i'm not answering text messages which i usually am but i've been avoiding some and i'm just like i'm not opening all my dms we're super overwhelmed right now we have a lot of regular shit that we do every day so like this on top of it the live show like it's a lot stuff i'm feeling very overwhelmed i'm feeling very sick a few people were like oh my god i'm getting ready to head out there it made me want to throw up yeah like i I won't go like (laughs) that's what my brain said like i've been it makes me stress the fuck out it does it's very overwhelming all the stuff you know you have to like check all the boxes and make sure i will say thank god for our husband Mm -hmm. mark has been fucking we've been getting so much fucking help from him yeah (laughs) and you know like who else um i guess just mark yeah as far as like the physical stuff yeah yeah seriously because (laughs) and all the technical shit you know like we would be so far behind yeah and thank you to um maria yes connie mackin like she's helped tremendously she's one of our listeners that we love um i do want to say if you're coming to the live show please please just covid test before you come a lot of people are getting covid lately yes i was talking about that yesterday with someone and a lot of people have popped up with it in the last week um p's grandma is one of the people that has it right now and she let like went in an ambulance and you know p's was with her so exposed to it so i was all freaking out about that on sunday that's Um, scary yeah but yeah definitely please covid test if you you know if you can if you've been around traveling and shit um also cash only for the bar yeah at the the live show the bar is cash only um if you plan to buy any merch we will be accepting electronic payments so just wanted to make an announcement about that what else (gasps) the tattoos yeah we had plans um to all this incredible flash was made this hello dysfunction flash um but because of the venue that we're at we actually are unable to facilitate that at the show now right but we will have the flash on display and you can book the appointment um even if you're visiting from out of town i believe you can book with lex at her space thank god she has a shop so and she's phenomenal yeah so um you can definitely still get it it'll just be not far from where the venue is you'll have to go to her shop to get it yes um oh this is great news did you know there's a uti vaccine what have you read anything about that it's already available in the uk it's not here yet, but it's like coming. This is not a drill. It's a fucking UTI vaccine. It's like, do you like dirty wieners? Do you drink not enough water? Yeah. Here you go. This is for you. No, seriously. I mean, because they're a fucking problem for a lot of people. Yeah. Some people live their lives and never get them, which I think is great. They're but horrible. if you're one of the people that do, like women in my family start getting them at like 11 years old. Yeah, they're horrible. And they will ruin your life. They make your quality of life not fun i've had them so bad before where they're like on the verge of a kidney infection where i'm like being driven to the er vomiting and shit like and your back is like throbbing Mm -hmm. it's they're horrible they're really fucking awful and um when i read that i was like oh my fucking god so i did some research and it is a thing and it is you booked a flight to the uk i'm gonna go there and get it if i get another one i'm tired i'm fucking tired of it because you know after a a while like myself um you become resistant to certain antibiotics so like the the ones that they normally give you like they don't work anymore and or they have you have to try five before you get to one that right that does kill the bacteria so just if you could develop like give me a little bit of the bacteria so that i could become resist you know like yeah. whatever the process is with a the vaccine they yeah. give you some of it so that it won't affect you if you come in contact with it right isn't that the science of it i don't know what science they're using for the vaccine i'd have to read about it but that's what a vaccine is right they give you a small dose of whatever it is usually it's it's a dead virus they give you Mm. so that your body can recognize it and yeah yeah and not starts lifting weights yeah and it can fight it inside your body Mm -hmm. yeah it wears sweatsuits and sweatbands and shit yeah yes um so yeah i thought that was uh great news also great news um i don't know like 
how great, but did you see that there's been some developments in the Tupac murder? I did. I did see there was a raid in Vegas and mm. it was one of the shooters. Like he's an older man. It's the shooter's uncle. Okay. It's his house. It was in the car. It mm-hmm. was his girl's house. And that, that house was actually either built in or moved in. They moved in after like two years after the Tupac murder. Mm-hmm. Um, the guy, the uncle has actually been, I was about to say video recorded, you know, I can't just say (laughs) recorded. I have to say video record. He's been video recorded before admitting, um, his nephew shot him, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Yeah. Because apparently, I don't know. And where's the nephew? I don't know. I I think maybe. Is he not alive anymore? Either him or the nephew's name is Orlando. And, um, there's all type of conspiracies behind why it happened like mm-hmm. inside death row shit fucking east coast shit fucking who knows but so they don't really know why mm-mm, not I, I read today that clips 11 clips or something were found that were supposed to be tied to it or whatever were found in the house oh wow so, so they took um they're finding like physical evidence yeah so they took um out a bunch of boxes and um a bunch of shit fucking so hard drives pictures of potential suspects um hmm. so we'll see what happens but that shit that would be big news but like i'm more concerned with who hired you right like i don't really care who did it i just want to know who sent why it. and who yeah. sent for yeah. real because it's that's not- what we need to know yeah definitely um so that's cool that's interesting it is did Especially- you did you read about the lady in Houston? Well, from Houston, that's in jail in Dubai. Yes, for running her motherfucking mouth at the car rental place, yelling at a man because he yelled at her, and so she raised her voice back. And as a woman, you are not allowed to yell in public. You're not allowed to do anything. Like there's places in Dubai. My sister just went. There's recently. stress codes and shit for women. That's what I was just gonna say. Like there's places where I know multiple people that have gone, and you can't like have your ankles show and Ask shit me in a lot of places. when i'm going there so like my Never. thing is um don't go out there acting all american respect where the fuck you are don't I, go nowhere acting like you're at home i think we've said before before you travel out of the united states or before you travel out of the country you're familiar with whatever country you're traveling to you really need to look up their laws like research the mm-hmm. shit and make sure it's stuff that you can abide by because there's countries where if you spit you're going to fucking prison you spit exactly. on the ground you're going to prison exactly. you chew gum in public you're going to jail like yeah there's a lot of shit and my thing is it's unfortunate it's an unfortunate situation of course but do i feel sorry for her no Do not go acting American in other people's country. And I've said this about, I think it's a very spoiled fucking attitude that, that people have. And then they expect like, um, special treatment and shit because those aren't the laws here or it's not like that here. Or even with the fucking, what was her name? Brittany Garner or whatever. Brittany. Shit. I can't remember off the top of my head. The NBA lady. Yeah. Um, just shit like that like you know what i'm saying it's very i don't know i just think back in like remember in the 90s when those two boys were in like china and they or were somewhere, caned and they were fucking caned for it was either graffiti or graffiti. if it was like spitting gum it was graffiti okay somebody else got in trouble for gum around that same time yeah. but like come on guys like you know that's that's one of my biggest fears for leaving the country is because i don't want to get in trouble anywhere else like it's not going to be like it is here there's certain places i have no desire of visiting because i if a man yells at me i want to be able to yell back or i I may i might forget and eat gum in public like for real you know so well it's make sure you research shit yeah i think the gum thing was like the spitting the gum on the ground thing like you know, you might get away with that here, but you're not Fuck getting away no. with that there. So Fuck no. Just um it's fucked up. But yeah, she's she's already been there for a few months, I think. It is. I used to watch her TikTok before she even went to Dubai. Oh really? She's pretty she's an influencer? She's a truck driver. She's a woman truck driver here. Oh, I thought she's she was pretty. just like a re- regular lady on vacation. I didn't know that she was like a s- yes, social media person. Yes, yeah, she has a f- you know, she's pretty um and she drives big rigs for a living. Oh, okay. And um, 
yeah, that fucking sucks. But yeah. Research before yeah. you fucking plan a vacation. Right. Um, speaking of dress codes, uh, I saw some people mad that they might start um, implementing dress codes at the gym. Really? Targeted towards women. How do you feel about that? They're like, don't show your camels, guys. Not that, but like... Like, I, I would need... Like, what kind of... Examples would that they were showing were like fucking bikini style, damn near fucking workout outfits. Just like a lot. I don't know. I'm I like, don't think you need to wear a, a thong bikini to the fucking gym. Or like... Um, maybe like super tiny tiny spandex biker shorts and a like a really tiny bra top is like they were showing on the example like a woman like setting up her camera and doing videos in there with like just super skimpy revealing ass shit i don't know but i don't want to see a man wearing that either so yeah no i i'd much rather see the woman wearing it than the man but I, you know as long as people's fucking body parts are covered you know like i can't see through your fucking shirt and your fucking shit's covered you know like i don't give a fuck what people wear i i think if they're only targeting women it's definitely probably because men are getting distracted yeah oh no yeah i can't help my boner that's yeah probably it's fucked up i don't know if it's across the board and it's like you know for everyone just don't wear shit that's like looks like underwear i guess um then whatever yeah but yeah i feel like it's definitely because some man was like i can't stop getting a boner when fucking britney is fucking doing deadlifts yeah yeah i don't know i have mixed feelings about it because i'm like i have seen bitches do too much and i'm like do you really guaranteed you know and like especially if they're in there filming you know what i mean yeah yeah i don't know yeah that's nice um before we started we were talking about water talk and i i bought all these packets recently and i was gonna make like a little water talk station on my kitchen counter and i had these cute ideas because you know i talked about it a few weeks ago that i i was watching those videos and all the recipes were impressive and they were describing what candies they taste like and like cream sickle and all this and then i was like well bunny is the one really that was like that doesn't count as water and then i was like thinking about all the haters in the comments of the videos and they were like that doesn't count as water either but it tastes really good and i don't know like it does if count it's as zero water. count i mean i'm probably gonna get cancer from the amount of aspartame that's in the shit but in moderation it is not harmful what aspartame yes it, it doesn't cause brain fog and shit no in moderation no oh, okay if you're eating copious amounts of it mm, but in moderation yeah. you're fine and and if you're i I mean what isn't hurting us really so yeah right um but it does count as water i I looked it up i made sure this water here there's no calories there's no sugar it is kind of sweet and i can fucking knife it quickly but it does fuck sparkling water counts as fucking water all right well then i'm still encouraged set that station up maybe i will yeah do your videos (laughs) a lot of my notes are like gender topics i feel like no okay this one we haven't recorded in a minute so i have like fucking jonah hill still in here fucking and and i don't even want to talk about him and i really liked him i really after he released that thing on netflix with the therapist and i was like wow like he's a very self-aware great person (laughs) i think they're both they both have issues the girlfriend the ex-girlfriend and him he's very insecure i feel like she maybe still isn't over it because he been moved on he's with a new girl he they're pregnant they're having a baby and shit and she's just now releasing this shit oh yeah what's her motivation right is she saying it like fucked her up or something Uh, maybe and and i'm not denying that some of the stuff he did was shitty as fuck he was basically calling her a fucking whore in he, so many words he definitely like, I read is insecure through, as fuck i read through all the text threads and him and the way he was wording shit and like trying to use that fucking therapist lingo and like fucking it was fucked up the way he was talking to her and at first when like, it, do you want her to be surfing in a sweatsuit she you knew she was a surfer so at first when only a few would come out i was like 
he was really nice about it. Granted, I think he's insecure as fuck, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but like, I felt like he was really nice and and in the beginning, yeah. And yeah, I was like, I felt he's that communicating way too. really well, like, yeah. I and mean, just what he doesn't want for him himself. That's right. what I thought. Yeah. So then I saw the photos that he wanted taken down off her IG, and it's literally her in a one piece, full butted fucking swimsuit doing her job doing what she does Ooh. right oh my god something <laughs> just fucking hurt my nose hella bad like whew. are you okay shit i'm just kidding but did something there's a hair nose. in your eye i can see oh my here. fucking go. god that was weird my eyes are watering um but after i saw that photo i was like he's you can't get with somebody whose job is a surfer, right? They don't surf in sweatpants. Exactly. And then be like, you can't put up that surfing video where you're fucking badass as fuck. Yeah. That's fucked up. It's really fucked up. It's very up. manipulative. And then the further they go on, like, you know, because there was quite a few threads shared, mm. and the further they go on, it's like him insulting her. Yeah. And, like, basically calling her thirsty. Yeah. And, like, um... It started to get very like um like he's he's trying to insult her and it was like yes. wow that's fucked up. Um, yes. Jonah, a little more therapy, don't do buddy. That. Yeah, don't fucking do that. And her I'm like so what I had heard was okay, so Jonah Hill and her broke up. He moved on. He's with someone else. I didn't know he's that. He's expecting a baby with someone, mm-hmm. the new girl, right? Okay. Well, in an in an article from like paparazzi or something i read that they mistake they mistook the new girl for that he was with for the ex-girlfriend and actually wrote her name in there oh and then she got mad about it the ex-girlfriend uh-huh got mad that the new girlfriend was called they thought it was her Uh uh-huh and um I heard, you know, she was really upset about that. And that's when these text messages came out. I don't Mm -hmm. fucking know. Who knows? Right. But I saw a video where a therapist was um, asked what their feeling was on Mm -hmm. this. And the therapist had said, this is two people that obviously are very hurt and both have a lot of work to do. Yeah. But he needs therapy a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. Because he was... And you knew she was a surfer going right. going, going into the relationship. That's really so that's fucked, fucked up, up when yeah. you get with someone and then you try to change them. Right. That's now, like a flag. If they're doing sure. like if they're doing shit like um, pissing on the toilet seat, leaving the fridge door open, those things, yeah, okay, let's try and help our partner change, right? Right. But not like fundamental core character parts of them that aren't a problem to anybody but you you know their career maybe like that they're good at like yeah, that's like, fucked up even if she wasn't good at it like if i'm a surfer when you fucking meet me i don't care if i suck like that's what i do if right. I, it brings me joy and i want to fucking do right. it and i've been doing it for yeah, years i did it when we met so like you can't trip now no no you don't come into this and then try to reprogram what i got going on i don't know that's i don't i would not want that for myself same not at all that you know mark has his asshole ways and shit you already know but one thing i i do love about him is that he doesn't try to fucking put a cup over me you know what i mean like he lets me be my fucking self yeah like yeah he's never like you can't fucking talk to everybody you know right like that or regulate like i had an ex-boyfriend that was like that it's abuse it's abuse it's It's hell of um, abusive i don't there's no other thing to call it i don't think like no it's not you're thinking about yourself you're being selfish and insecure it definitely comes from insecurities yeah exactly totally um carly russell that's exactly what i was just gonna let's just get it out the way girl i'm tired of hearing about it god damn it I hate it. I will. It's embarrassing. Like, and it's funny, though, how it's, like, being super stretched in the fucking media. Like, I don't know. What are they? Are they is she getting punished or anything for it? I didn't see anything about that. I just saw them, like, um, them just saying that, like, you know, 
this is we we found that this is not like what happened and this is what we what led us to know that so just like we're sure about it just so there's no question i, I hate just that, that resources were wasted right i do i hate yeah, that yeah. resources were i hate but- that it caused a panic people are mad because they were genuinely fucking concerned but i've thought about doing shit like that before. oh have you i have when i've been what? fed up with everybody i've i've thought like in my head oh you're a weirdo. i'm gonna shut my phone off i'm gonna get in my fucking car and i'm not telling nobody where I'm that's going. not what she did <laughs> well i'm that's not calling sure. the cops right and making a huge fucking she story just took it a few steps and buying further, a bus but... ticket and fucking yeah she she went pretty far i'd say that's not the same at all <laughs> Just fine. That's, that's definitely not if people the same. weren't panicked and resources weren't wasted fucking i think it's funny but no she because went, that shit so the thing is um and i reshared it the other day people this, were looking for the baby and shit. that's what i'm saying and that was a big, huge concern even after she was found they were like but we need to know what's going on with this baby because that's sick as fuck like where is this baby? remember the last show we basically um, ended with me saying no they baited her with the baby and that's yeah well now come to find out this is a whole fucking kevin hart skit which makes it even more ridiculous to me because like yeah because like he fucking had a skit talking about a baby walking oh, yeah, down the I street saw that. and uh, he you know you can't just go and kidnap the baby but you're like hella concerned because where's this baby who whose baby is this and then it it just goes into like that oh my god like what the fuck was she thinking dude like you're trying to make your see if your man cares was it one of those situations like yeah maybe i heard that that's what it was like she wanted to see if her man gave a fuck or like come on i will dude. say i've seen people online saying this is why um now now it's going to be harder to believe women and believe black women if you fucking think this one instant of her being an idiot it's gonna make you not believe women or any black well, women it's in the making future some people that's fucked up it well, it's, it's true i'm gonna just say it's not that's a real concern and i know that because of the amount of fucking idiots that i'm seeing men posting pictures of her next to meg the stallion and putting what do these two have in common and they're like oh it's dumb men shit they're both fucking liars and so yeah they're not like, even the same one bitch tory lanes was convicted he's I in mean, jail right but it's like you it's know apples and, and people, oranges people still doubt that 1000 percent. then they they're so, intentionally looking for reasons to not yeah, fucking believe but, women but it is a concern so like i feel like girl you can't be doing shit like that like the, the these false you should i think she should go to jail you know that's i like, think she absolutely should go to jail i think anybody that lies about um any crimes like that needs to go to jail yeah maybe she should get a little punishment but i don't think i think if going forward you're not gonna believe women or black women then i feel like you're looking for a reason there's already something wrong with you to have one incident of course, make but you do you think that's not that. gonna happen now do you think that the next woman that like might call in something and go missing do you think that's not going to be questioned more or like looked at more with a fucking magnifying glass now before someone gets really concerned like they should i feel like that did fuck some shit up and i feel like it shouldn't it shouldn't there's idiots it shouldn't right? it but shouldn't. this country is run by idiots like you know, you know like, the, the it's the idiots that we have to call for help like that's the problem is i think it did um fuck some shit up like set some shit back a little bit but like just like i i say treat it the same way as false rape or false fucking anything like lock them up she should do six months i don't know how much she should do but you know get a little punishment pay a fucking fine and yeah learn for sure learn from it and like her family is hella fucking humiliated and they're just like but let me I just feel like you guys like they're they're like we can't we can't make sense of this like let me just put this out here though the incidents of false reporting are like nothing compared to actual crimes true. that goes for true. rape kidnapping yeah true all of that so for any of those who are on the fence about believing anybody yeah look up statistics you know what i mean um people are so hesitant to believe any accusations of rape anyway just in general period that's what you know like 
without any false reporting. It's, it's one of the reasons I hate it here. Yeah, and it's like um, that's why people are just not even really encouraged to to report all the time because you're going to be you know what you're going to go through. So like th- that's already a fucking problem without any false reporting. So I just feel like damn girl like we we can't be doing shit like this to make it fucking worse i don't know for anybody like (laughs) guys too don't don't do no shit like this don't do no fucking shit like this Mm. like had a whole fucking um story about why she showed like (sighs) what was this you know what's (laughs) fucked up is there really are people women missing right now victims of crimes and it just so happened the one that was heavily focused on turned out to be false but there's so many fucking yeah. women missing you know and well this was such a crazy story like the, involving the a fucking baby. baby and her yeah disappearing while on the phone oh yeah this i was think that's craziness. what really yeah sparked it, it fucking panicked people because it's like that baby the and her are gone fucking yeah kidnapping yeah. technique you could fucking use yeah. like that that scared the shit out of me because i know i'm gonna stop if i see a fucking baby like of course um who's not you I'm know so by all babies <laughs> I don't know. So that, so yeah that shit th- i think that's what got now it, if you it's know, a cat obviously. they're getting me for that's sure. what got it the attention if it yeah. if there was no story yeah. about a baby it would have just been yeah. another missing person yeah i think so too that that fucked it up i think people were definitely traumatized by the baby bait um speaking of using babies and traumatizing lena Listen, I'm so sick of fucking Adam 22 and Lena the plug. And I hate that we're even talking about it, but they take shit way too fucking far. Which I didn't know. If you guys want to fucking, if you want to be a cuck and, and she wants to do shit on her own hands, good for y'all. Let's right? start there. Okay, so I saw the video. Did you watch the video? Of her fucking. The dude? Yeah. No. Whatever love. What's his no. name? Something like, okay, so Victor, I watched I it. I think, or something. So my girl sent it to me. Um, and so I got to watch it and I was like, ooh, her body is hella fucking nice. And I'm, I'm, I'm into it. I'm watching it. Her pussy is so fucking dry through the whole, like don't, porn uh, performers have like secrets. You know what I'm saying? Just like sometimes sex, wor- sex workers have little secrets here and there, cheat codes. You I mean, know what you I'm couldn't saying? even like, spit on it or something. It was so motherfucking dry through the whole goddamn scene the whole the whole video you know that shit hurt and so i'm yeah that's all i'm thinking of like this isn't turning me on because i know how tight indian burn that probably feels i was just gonna like, say an indian burn it i mean that's painful probably like, not the right fucking word these days but it, yeah probably not pc but um yeah. that's i know Sorry. that's probably what it fucking felt like and i'm watching it from all different angles and i'm like girl like why didn't you use lube or like you know y'all break sometimes to change positions or whatever and that's not shown and like you could have squirted it real quick with something so just so there was some moisture she she eats does she eat the cum at the end she just wipes it off and eats it she doesn't like scoop it with a spoon or anything but (laughs) goes home and french (laughs) kisses she goes home and fucking (laughs) i hope she did i hope she (laughs) saved some of her apparently she did uh he said that they kissed as soon as she got home or something i don't well i saw people ask him did you kiss and he was like yeah i mean after she showered and cleaned up like they were trying to make him feel bad asking him that yeah um but uh her pussy was so fucking dry that that's my complaint that was my only takeaway from it yeah her it, body's really nice um so she did it for only fans apparently before and the big so apparently before banging the guy um she had only done woman on women um that was her porn. first dick scene that was or her first since married right yep since married i don't think um she's done others before well i for years apparently it was just women on women or whatever mm. and then someone had said her only fans wasn't um gaining as many new followers or whatever mm-hmm. right it had slowed down a little so they agreed as a couple um she could do a bbc okay and so she did that mm-hmm. um they picked a good one because his body is really fucking nice. Even though he has like tacky tattoos and wears fake watches and shit. Oh, that's nice. He has a really nice body. So she did it or whatever. So there was, and you know, Adam 22 and Lena had just recently gotten married. So they're like really dragging it out on the internet. He buys her a fucking Lamborghini and he's like, I'm gifting you this for your first BBC scene. Like really doing the most, whatever. Teach their own. 
I'm like, what's the problem with that? But then they have it because they're just dragging it. Everything has to mention BBC, 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 BBC. I haven't seen a lot of mention of BBC. Oh, God. I just seen like them saying like you did your your you did it so well, whatever, like a congratulation gift. Oh, no, I watched like three videos and then for a minute, all my algorithm was just anything regarding fucking the situation. I was really mad at myself for a minute. <laughs> I had to watch like cat videos and fitness fucking to get it rails right. to get it off. Mm-hmm. Um, so they have a kid and, you know, she had done um, pregnancy, like fetish videos when she was pregnant, which I don't care about. It's a very popular fetish. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, I have no problem with that. Mm-hmm. What I have a problem with is, and I showed it to you the other day, there's videos of her breastfeeding her their toddler for people. On OnlyFans. Yes. And it's a... It's, it's, I'm like it's legally not, like can they legally do that like that's what's so fucking weird to me it's crossing the line to me like well, it's pandering to pedophiles absolutely so that's specifically even, what it is even though it's like a natural thing and right. you breastfeed your child right. right it's being sexualized it is. is what's happening and my thing is only fans you know I'm very new to this um but like I've tried to post scenes with other people and and it's been immediately flagged because what? you have to have a release form for any person in your video. Really? Yes. And they don't play. Like, they will flag that shit within five minutes. No, like, no matter what time of the night you post it. Oh, like, wow. they're on it, right? So, Which I guess um, is good. It is good because, you know, like, I don't know. Just I wouldn't want people posting me in a video without right. my permission. Right. You know, because they, they start a page. So, um, my thing is, like, this is... I, and when you fill this out, you have to upload ID. You can't just like Forge fill out a, a question. Exactly. You have to put photo ID and like all kind of shit, the whole verification process. So my thing is like with this baby, like is, how are you legally putting that on your, is, I, I want to make sure this is like really happening. I'm about to, I'm going to go back. And it's not just a rumor, you know? Yeah. I want to look at the, so it's the screen, sh- the thing I saw says, On October 13th, 2022, Adam and his wife uploaded their daughter breastfeeding to their porn TikTok plug talk. People began accusing them of using their daughter as a pedophile dog whistle. Okay, so it's not OnlyFans. Is it worth noting um, that Lena filmed pregnancy porn fetish scenes as well, which I said I already don't yeah, no, care about. That's, that's Whatever. not an issue at all. No, it's the involving the child. Yeah. Okay, so if it's on a TikTok, then that you know, that's different. Right. Fucking TikTok and Facebook get real weird with the shit they allow. And it's really weird. They're like dressed as Sesame, Sesame Street, Street characters. characters. Yeah. So it uh, it doesn't it doesn't it gives me the ugh. the way that that picture is taken the angle and shit like that's the focus of the photo that's not yeah yeah it's like that's not um they're doing something and they're casually talking while breastfeeding or whatever like that seems like the focus of the photo yeah but again like tiktok and facebook and shit are really weird about what they allow involving children like we've seen naked kids dicks out and shit posted and not yes. taken down like so an like, eight-month-old baby yeah. full f- yeah like, yeah oh my god so i thought it was only fans only f- i feel like that is not gonna fly on only fans yeah but either way i'm not comfortable with it i think that's no. gross and if there is like scenes like that where like you know that's like the focus of whatever they're doing they need to have their accounts taken down that's fucking gross and you're pandering to pedophiles not all money is good money most money is good money but that type of shit when you're Mm -hmm. involving kids like that's foul as fuck and you know gross if you know that someone's out there whacking it to your fucking child breastfeeding that's fucking sick it is and and i haven't had any problems with anything they've done up until me either and i'm like that's yeah that's gross don't do that yeah um, so yeah, if you guys know if that's an actual video Please or whatever, let us know. Let me know. That's so fucking can, gross. So we can have an educated attitude. So I can about write it. them an angry email <laughs> and Thank not you. sound stupid. Right. We want to know our shit. <laughs> no, for real. Um, what else? 
It's really fucking gross. Did you see all these like men getting put to sleep for tattoos? I said this is a very what? gender. This is a very gender man and woman list of topics I have, but it's only been men, and I'm like, would you date a man that had to be put to sleep to get a tattoo? No. I would like, never. To me, it's like the most pussy thing. Like you can't tattoo, take a punch with tattoo culture anyway. Like there's a lot of rules. I feel like unspoken rules or whatever that are broken nowadays with these new yeah. generations. And that's me sounding hella hella like an old head, but it's true. Like people are skipping and just going straight to the face, or people are skipping and going hands and throat and shit. When before, like you work your way up to that. Those right. are the places you tattoo when you've already hit everywhere else. Right. You know, you don't just go and be bare everywhere and then have your whole face and then have your hands like you know what i mean we we laugh at people like that you know so um uh i'm seeing these videos of people in operating rooms getting put under general anesthesia bitch tyga is one of them and having like five to seven artists go in at once and they're doing the whole entire uh, I, I saw multiple videos, but I think for him it was the whole back of You're his body. You're really playing with your life because general anesthesia has many fucking risks and side effects. People sometimes don't wake up. From yes, it. yes. There are side effects, like so, like for how tattoos. pussy though are you? Like already um, having multiple people tattoo you at once is like what the fuck are you doing? Your body's gonna fucking um, give out. I've had like I've gotten big pieces like um big like six and a half hour pieces done right but later that night I had a fever I had chills yes. my body was twitching like it's so traumatic on your fucking body when you go- have like um when you're going in like that for a long period of time it's trauma to your skin and so your body's like what the fuck is going on i cannot imagine having like seven people tattoo my whole fucking backside at one time like you're really you're rushing it to put on this tattoo suit this costume so you can be cool so you could be cool but you went about it the most pussy way possible yeah you're like not earning those no it's so pussy and then i saw another video of these a whole other group of artists so it's not just like this this group of like bros that do it like it's a whole other set in a whole other surgery environment doing the same thing like this is becoming a thing what the fuck and um i'm against it i think it's really pussy and so do i also like the superstitious side of it like i don't know if you know this but like when you're getting your hair done and shit i learned this from joetta growing up you're not supposed to have more than two hands in your head at a time right and it makes me think about that too like you're just not supposed to have that many hands going in on you at one time like you're not and this is just so dumb like (laughs) this is why you teach your children not to look up to fucking celebrities i mean it's yeah, one of the many they do reasons corny ass shit like don't yeah they're yeah. not fucking role models. they're not role models no no they're not and i don't i hope that doesn't become like super accessible trendy because like i'm sorry that's that's so i can't believe doctors are actually doing that. signing off on it yeah like they need to be looked at by the medical board yeah that's bullshit general anesthesia so you can so get you hit can... by fucking five men Shh. at once pause like what tyga the Ew. other person i saw do it didn't look like a famous face not recognizable to me anyway he looked like a regular dude but yeah like what do you fucking do and then posting it like you're hella proud dorks like, you're a dork you're, you're fucking, fucking dork that's cringe that's fucking Ugh. that's dorky yeah i don't agree. do that don't if you have money don't fucking spend it on that don't just get them gradually like right. what's the rush weirdo i don't know that's so pussy to me it's embarrassing is what it is yeah Wait, um, um well sorry go ahead also don't shame anybody for doing normal shit i don't know if you saw this but lana del rey is like working at a waffle house good for her and people like recorded her is she doing it because she like wants to she's doing it because she needs to apparently what yeah and people are like we're making i mean a lot of people came to her defense but with the intention of whoever recorded it they were posting it to try to shame her who gives a fuck and it's like fuck you like you don't know what she's going through or what anybody is going through if you see you know that one guy that was on um you know what's (sighs) shitty is we shame people for not having a job and then we turn around and shame them for having a job because Mm -hmm. we don't think it's up to 
our standards. That's fucking gross. It's disgusting. Leave um, people the fuck that alone. That reminds me of that one dude with the glasses that was working at that Trader Joe's and, and his picture went viral and people were like, wow, like he fell off, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if he was on a different world or, or one of them shows back in the day, mm. but um, he was working at a Trader Joe's. He got spotted, recognized, and the pictures went viral. But like, don't shame people. Or I don't give a fuck what it is. Like, if they're working, like, how dare you? Or how about maybe they don't want to be involved in the limelight maybe anymore. Maybe they don't. And they want a job. Maybe and- they don't. Maybe they need it. Maybe they, you know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah. it. It's none of our business. I just thought that's a really shitty thing to do. Not only to, like, record someone at their job, but then to, like, try to shame them for it. That's so People fucked are gross. up. That's hella shitty. Yeah. That was upsetting. But yeah, go her. Whatever the fuck you yeah. want to do, bitch. I don't care if you're at CVS. Do what the fuck you want to do. And I don't care if she has $10 million in her bank account if she wants to work. Fucking why are we shaming people? Yeah. Why are we worrying about people that don't affect our lives is my question. Oh, uh, you want me to tell you the story of what affected my life the other day? <laughs> of course. When I almost got into a fight? Great. Did I tell you at the no. show? At the Larry June show? Um, you mentioned part of it, but you didn't. Okay, let me tell the story. Because you were like, I'm going to save it for the show. So, um, a friend of mine, good friend of mine, um, was like, uh, do you want to go, do you want tickets to the Larry June show? And I was like, it, it, it was literally like a few hours before it started. And I was mm-hmm. like, let me find out. Cause I have a friend that like, you know, we know him. And so like, we don't, we ain't like cool with him now, but like when he first, first started rapping, like that's when we met him. And so one of my friends used to fuck with him. So I hit her and I'm like, do you want to go? And she's like, yeah, why not? Cause she was trying to go out and get drinks or something the night before so i immediately was like oh cool here's something for for us to do she's like yeah so we get ready my friend um ends up buying us tickets uh, which was so nice shout out to him he was just like go do something fun like you you never go out he was like you never do anything um like go have fun and like find you a man (laughs) so i was like thank you so i get ready i put on a fucking dress um and i I was like yeah and i was like big mama's gonna go out So we go there and um, we get in and it's nice. They don't have Bloody Marys, which is like Fox Theater. Step your fucking game up. Right. But um, whatever. We're there and um, it's nice. And and a friend of ours who's like super fucking close to him. You know, we call him. He comes and he gets us this little reserve table area, which is like cool. And so um, we have this little table and it has two chairs and it's in like a a big VIP section that's gated. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you have like a better view of the stage and shit and you're not in the crowd, which is nice because I'm I don't like the crowd um, for nervous anxiety reasons. Agree. So um, we had like hella space. And so it was cool. So we're right there. Um, It's going great. Um, these two girls are standing, you know, there's people standing behind us. Like we're at the front of this section. And so this one girl that's standing beside us, like is doing too much and like falls hella hard. And she falls into the chair next to me. The chair slams into my chair and, and our table. Okay. Our table's a little round fucking right. flimsy ass table. She immediately stands up. I know she probably felt dumb as fuck. She immediately stands up, don't say shit, and is still standing there. Was so, she like obliterated or what? No. No. So I turned to her and I was like, "Did you just completely fall all into my fucking chair and table and shit?" She ignores me. So I'm like, "Oh, okay. I'm gonna ask her one more time." I'm like, "Excuse me, did you just fall all into me and my table and this chair and everything? That and was you?" Not say anything. Don't say anything. So I jump up out my seat. Great. I've, I had a few by this point, but that don't matter because I still would have done it bone sober. So I jump up and I, I like lean over right. and I was like, um, you hear me talking to you. I was like, you just fell all into me and didn't say shit. Don't let that shit happen again. I was like, you could have said, excuse me. So I look. Or sorry. So I look and the person behind her and her friend that's like standing right there is my fake ass cousin's baby daddy. And I'll tell you who you know when we're not on the air but i had already said hi to him in the lobby like when we first got there so i see him standing right there with them 
after I say what I said to her, I see her whispering in her friend's ear. While she's doing that, I tell him, hey, are you with them? And he goes, I mean, I know them. And I said, well, you better get them together because them falling all into my fucking chair and table and shit and not saying excuse me is not going to fly over here. So or sorry. get them under control because no one said excuse me. And I asked that bitch twice. Did she just fall all the fuck into me? So he's immediately like, can you just calm down? Can you just calm down? Da- That's not the response I want from you no so i immediately go either you fucking tell her or i'm a teller again and i'm gonna make sure don't be right here then and i'm i'm like who the fuck raised y'all and i ask him i'm like um i'm sorry he's like can you just calm down no i can't because if i fall into any fucking body i'm saying excuse me i'm sorry did i knock anything over my back especially if they're asking me about it embarrassed or not i have fucking manners and I, that's rude. what i expect it's rude as fuck and it made me feel like you think i'm not shit that you could fall all into me and not say excuse me so now i'm taking it like you're insulting yeah so she's whispering in her friend's ear her little roly-poly ass friend starts mouthing off but indirectly and she starts saying oh wow something something it's not even a big deal whoop, whoop. so i get in her face Great. i put my hand all in her motherfucking face and i said it might not be a big t- deal to you but bitch it's a big deal to me so you need to say excuse me because you don't know who the fuck is tripping around you or who might be offended how about it's just say sorry that's what i said i said i'm asking for common ass courtesy like manners, manners bitch i'm not asking you to go above and beyond bitch at that point she's a bitch so i'm pointing all in her fucking face girl she goes to smack my hand away i immediately lunge at the bitch and i go to <laughs> grab her fucking throat it was like instinct i was so proud of myself like bitch you still got it 100 percent. you was going for her th- girl i go to get her throat he fucking pulls them both back and there's like all these dudes that are standing around they rush in between us or whatever and i'm like i look at him and i'm like either you get this shit together or- you're like i told you yeah exactly i said or you know i am so he already knows me from years ago anyway like because he does security for rappers in the bay or whatever Uh, like you've seen me turn up before like you know so i'm like fuck you too so you get it together you get these bitches together so i'm like whatever now i'm irritated what is going on what what is it a problem is it and i'm like oh god girl sit back so i'm like i don't need you getting involved at all so um i tell her you know whatever it's fine but i don't sit back down because i'm mad and i'm like if i hear a whisper of anything i'm taking off on these hoes right so i'm standing now and leaning on one of the chairs and i continue to watch the show but that just like killed my vibe for the rest of the show you know i'd have been irritated as fuck irritated right so i'm like whatever girl but when it got close to the end don't think i turned around they were long gone they had got the fuck up out of there rightfully so because i'm telling my girl if i hand you my purse it's because i'm gonna punch these bitches in the mouth when and we you leave. better hold on to and it she's witnessed that plenty of times so she already knows to be on point so i'm like i'm just letting you know if i throw you this good purse that's what's happening girl i was looking for them outside on our way they to the gone. car they were long fucking gone and he's like six foot six so i'm spotting him and his fucking jerry he's like no whatever. let's go he, long gone nowhere in the crowd so fuck it whatever but just manners like have motherfucking manners because i'm thinking i would never do that to nobody I would never do that I even if never, i bump someone in the club I, I say sorry even or if i bump me. your motherfucking elbow yes. gently i'm i'm sorry oh my god are you okay yes. like i apologize i never want to be that a fucking bitch like never. i never want to be a cunt to nobody never. you know what i'm saying never. and you bitches ain't i'm not the one like i'm really not the fucking one and it, were I, they young yeah like 20s yeah mm-hmm. and i'm just like girl i'd have beat both their asses that night but you know it didn't get to that point let me tell you what else happened though because at this point i'm like i just shouldn't go out no more like what is my life like what the fuck so we get to when we get to this little section of ours to hang out to sit um like my friend's phone is blowing up and she proceeds to tell me that like yeah i have a man and i've been like ducking him for like three days and like i hope he don't come up in here tripping i'm just not gonna answer the phone i'm gonna turn my phone off it's about to die anyways i'm just gonna put it away then proceeds to tell me that her man is like super good tight friends with larry and with the person that got us this little section of ours so i'm thinking in my head do you think for one minute they're not gonna tell your your good man that you got that we're here (laughs) and that you're not answering the phone and shit but you're here and you've been ignoring him for three days oh god 
So then it turns into, oh, I hope he don't come in here tripping and beat my ass in public. Bitch, what? I'm sitting here like looking at the ceiling of the Fox Theater. Like, like if one- this happens while I'm here. <laughs> Like, who are you fucking dating what is my life what and then to make me feel better she's like oh but he won't hit me in the face though oh that's great <laughs> what a he's a great guy listen you pick him well if you get stomped out and you're with me bitch your face is good though girl like, like what me. so i'm just sitting there like what is my life right whatever whatever i'm trying to chill out whatever she's dancing her motherfucking ass off by herself guess what all of a sudden here comes good man of hers no fucking way taps her on the shoulder bitch my butthole went i grabbed my purse and i was like see you later I already girl. Had my purse oh, I already bye had girl it. i'm standing there with an attitude already. i'm not gonna be a witness here he comes and i'm like oh and she turns around and looks at me like a ghost had just walked up so i'm like hello i shake his hand you know what i'm saying and then i get the fuck out the way because i'm like this is not my fight to fight this is not my problem no nope. and i don't know him so i don't know like what the attitude what the vibe is gonna be what the, oh you know what i'm saying God. i'm not trying to hide her like i just don't want no confusion you know what i'm saying yeah but the whole time i'm thinking what is my life like bitch you could have stayed home you could have got taco bell and sat your you ass been at in home. the bed you could have been at home right now on on mercari looking at cabbage patch kids bitch you wanted to go outside and put a dress on and look at the shit that keeps happening bitch look at look at this no bloody mary mix that would have been a sign right you know what i'm saying first red flag right this is not gonna go well but Jesus. he was polite. He shook my hand. I was like, nice to meet he you. He whispered in her ear, bitch, I'll be waiting <laughs> he outside, did a, bitch. He did a lot of Billy talking through his teeth. I know he did. All up in her ear and walked away. And she was like, oh, thank God. And I'm like, thank God. Th- you better thank God <laughs> because you're here with me. What is her life? Bitch. Because I'm glad it ain't mine. Listen, this has been a friend of mine for like probably fucking 13 years, something like that. Maybe, Maybe even more than that. Maybe longer. And and I've never known her since we have been friends. Now, before me, yes. Before that, I've known her to have some crazy relationships and questionable judgment with men. Yes. Since we have been friends, like this is a friend that has fucked with celebrities. This is a friend that's a bad bitch, like um, has a loving family yes has skills like educated loving educated family. loving present family um has skills makes money yeah um is not the type of person you would think would would this late in life go back to some shit like that Shh. so the disappointment i felt for sure i'm just like you will never see me again until you fucking f- get, get that shit that together out of your motherfucking system Seriously. like and you know i can't um you know she was like tipsy and shit so i can't really like lecture and i'm not gonna do all that and i'm not gonna fucking you know because like honestly you should already know how i feel anyway just me being me like you know so i i didn't even go there i was just like look like she can't like he's handsome he ain't that handsome i'm sorry like that's the only good thing she could tell me about him is that to him to her he's fine as fuck and i'm like nobody is fine enough to beat my ass i said nobody in this motherfucking world is that fine and i can tell you from the out he's not that cute there's not a wiener that good a face that pretty no to allow that shit no nope so um that was that was my night and i was like jesus christ i could not wait she, after she's like we should go to the city because you know you're the like show, block <laughs> the block the show let out early you know because it was like a 7 p.m show or something it started early so we got out early and she's like we should go to the city now nope. i'm like girl i'm going to bed you need to go home i'm going to fucking bed i dropped her off um i got bunny taco bell i scrubbed my rim in the taco bell drive through <laughs> just another sign that bitch you shouldn't have been out i got her food i went home i took my ass to bed I was asleep before midnight that night <laughs> but i was just shaking my head like what is my fucking it's hello dysfunction it is at every turn Ta-da. at every turn and if i see them bitches again because i was thinking i started to be like let me go find his page so i could find out if that's his bitch you're like the looking little, through social media i didn't the old me would have yeah. and then would have like popped up somewhere where they are and shit but you know i'm grown i'm not gonna do that but i i will remember their face and if i see her little motherfucking ass she's getting folded up i promise <laughs> i fucking promise and i'm gonna kick his ass too kick him right in his bad leg don't fucking play with me Shut up. about some manners i'm sorry not just, a, not about something some manners. so simple 
and Simple. trivial like, like who doesn't have manners? don't let embarrassment or whatever the fuck your excuse was to sit there and freeze and act like you don't hear me like Goofy don't ass. yeah like no nope and I, the next day i was like did i overreact nope i sure didn't no i sure did not no have motherfucking manners i just expect the same treatment i'm gonna give other people you know yeah. and i don't think that was asking too much also get the fuck away from me if you're gonna be doing too much and falling out you're not even drunk you're just Go. goofy um then probably get the fuck away from yeah. my little baby table right here <laughs> Ugh, bitches that was the story i was saving <laughs> anyways uh that's uh for sure mm-hmm. don't right. be falling into me at the live show do not <laughs> just kidding guys she's not just kind of kidding we got some write-ins let's do them okay um i'll read the first three and then i'll hand it over to you partner okay you um, said the first three there's not long okay <clears throat> hi crystal and potafria first off i wanted to give a huge shout out to one of the listeners named lauren w for making this the best birthday year of my life hmm. i was unable to get a live ticket for your show and unfortunately something happened and she is unable to go so she sold her ticket to me <gasps> Nice. Thank you so much, Lauren. I'm not sure you know how much this means to me and how much I appreciate it. Mm. I also wanted to give myself and my boyfriend a birthday shout out. My birthday is July 9th and his is July 19th. Happy birthday to all the cancers out there. See y'all at the live show. I think my dad's is, is did she say her man's is July 19th? Yeah. Is my dad your man? <laughs> Are you dating Jimbo? Are you, is Jimbo your dad, your man? Do you feed deers together? <laughs> Tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> that is my dad's birthday i love it see y'all at the live show and have a great week yes. i'll be waiting for the next episode love pixie oh that's cute very cute okay Mm-mm. hi babies Mm-mm. <laughs> absolutely not get off I the mic love you. get off the mic now <laughs> okay Patafria and Crystal, I would love to give a birthday shout out to my cancer bestie sister, Veronica. Her birthday is July 9th. She's the one who introduced me to HD podcasts and I've been hooked since. We bring up episodes and just laugh about, um, about who's funny and dysfunctional. You two are just like us. I love you so much. Farrell, wish you the best birthday. You deserve nothing but the best. Hmm. Tweezy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Pixie and Tweezy. Those were cute um and this is something that came through our our dms um it says just because i know you guys love facts and you may already know <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you may already know this but inherited trauma is very real i did know that mm, yeah they did a study on mice where they traumatized a mouse i'm gonna cry then they then she got pregnant and had babies they took away the babies immediately so they would not be around the mother they were raised with a mouse that was not traumatized the baby still showed symptoms of anxiety and trauma and it could be seen in their dna that's crazy yeah i mean we already knew but yeah it's confirmed uh hello yeah basket case mm -hmm. thanks okay uh, it's pretty long um okay it's just this and the other one now you gave me a novel okay i hope this is where i can submit a write-in um trigger warning talk of suicide not from me but from my boyfriend which is why i need the advice mm. sorry if this is a little long i need to give some background so you can fully understand the situation you're welcome crystal <laughs> Could you need the details? I love her. Thank you. I want every detail. My boyfriend and I have been together for two years, and he's been very open and honest with me about his emotions. He has a young daughter and has been going to court for the past several, several years to fight a case and for the rights to still be able to see his daughter. He's a great father, and because of his past, the courts uh, have a pre preconceived idea of who he is. His daughter will cry and say that she doesn't want to go to her mom's and why can't she stay with him? And it's heartbreaking. He has always been open about his depression, but lately he's been talking about committing suicide and how he's always known he was going to die young. 
I'm a fixer, so whenever he expresses feelings of depression, I try to come up with a solution because it hurts knowing I can't do anything to help him. Last night, he mentioned how a couple years ago he attempted suicide. He mentioned how everyone in his life would move on and be fine if it, if it were to happen. He grew up in a dysfunctional family and doesn't have anyone he feels he can go to uh, or ask for help. I've suggested therapy, but he said, I'm just trying to pawn his problems off on someone else. Hmm. I would never forgive myself if something happened to him or if he did go through with the suicide. I'm not sure where to turn or what to do to try to get him help. I know this is long and edit as needed, but any advice would be much appreciated. Love you guys. And thank you for being a place where we can all go and be vulnerable. Also, please keep me anonymous. Um, I think he does need therapy and the fact that he thinks by talking to a therapist, it would be pawning shit off on somebody else. I mean, however you can get him to a therapist, you need to get him to get him to call a crisis line. And that's a baby step. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't want to say you need to get him to a therapist. That's not fair. Um, that's really not your responsibility. It's not. I've dealt with a suicidal partner listen thank god they were comfortable uh like taking a step outside and calling a suicide hotline and i know that it did help them so like if you can get them to take that baby step then maybe they'll be more comfortable with the idea of talking to a therapist too later if it got worse and it did she say how long she's been with them two years if you're gonna stay with him i'm just gonna tell you like this you need to get comfortable with the idea that he may do it. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to stay with him. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a fixer. I know what that feels like. It's not your fucking responsibility to fix it. It's not. And I don't like the comment that he made about you putting it off. Like, bro, how about don't put that off on me? Like, how about, you know what I'm saying? Like, how about you don't know how that makes me feel when you're putting that pressure and responsibility on me? Like, don't put that on me. Like, I, I want to say break up with him and tell him to get help. And then get together. Yeah. That would be my 100% authentic advice. Mm-hmm. Um, that's not fair to put that off on a fucking partner. It's right. just not. It's not. And I'm really sorry you're going through that. I know. I'm sure you love him to death, but either you're going to need to step away and have him agree to get some help. Yeah. Or you're going to need to make peace with the fact that he probably will follow through one day. And especially if he's already attempted it before. Yes. Um, and know that if he does do it, it's not your fault. No. And that's not, that's not for you to fix. Like you're not, who knows how to, who's equipped and comes like knowing how to fix something like that. That's not your job. Like, no, it's unfair for somebody to ask you. Yeah. I resent that 100%. I don't like it. No. He doesn't sound like he should be in a fucking relationship right now. He needs to get his own self together. And I'm sorry about all the shit he's going through with his daughter. And I'm sorry that he's going through it himself and and wanting to unalive and shit. But like that, don't put that on somebody else. And then you're going to fuck around and need therapy. Yeah. Don't don't do that. No, don't do that. Okay. Um, Here's another one. Hey, um, first of all, you guys are amazing. Love y'all. Been listening since day one. Thank you. I know you guys will be busy with live shows. Congrats. Um, and life, but I just wanted to wish a very happy birthday to my best friend for over 20 years, Jalen. Mm. Her birthday is August 6th. She's a true Leo. Ew. Hey. Yuck. Fuck you. <laughs> Fiery, loving, confident, and the best godmother to my child in the world. I can sit here and brag about how lucky I am to have her in my life, Aww. but we will be here all day. That's hella fucking sweet these past few years i have watched her kick life's ass drop a bitch ass husband fuck him and follow her heart that's great that makes me happy love it i am obsessed with you thank you for being my friend and sister since we were teenagers p.s she became a diehard hd listener because of me pat self on the back good job thank you for thank you guys for giving um us yet another thing to connect on i love you bird love Brittany. bird is cute hella cute and bird I, pixie 
Tweezy. Teasy. Yeah. What was that name? Tweezy. Tweezy. I love that ride in. That's yeah. so fucking sweet. That's very sweet and I love it. Okay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, bird. All right. Well, um, that's it, guys. We got to find a cash box and um, the next episode work on a bunch of more stuff before we get to go to bed tonight. If anybody local has the cash box we can borrow, we'll be your best friend. We will be your best friend and we'll give you a drink or something. Or maybe you can come to the live show. Favor. I was assuming they were already coming. Oh, (laughs) that's what I meant. But yeah, I'm all favor for that. Or if you have a box and you don't have a ticket, let us know, (laughs) please. Okay. That's it. Suck and easy. Okay. Go to bed.